Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. The mind needs something to hold on to if it's going to stay settled. And the breath is a good place to be. It's right next to the mind. It's a good mirror for the mind. And as John Lee says, when you dress yourself up, you're also dressing up your reflection in the mirror. But it works the other way around as well. If you dress up the mirror, it also helps to fix up the mind. Because sometimes the mind is irritated and you're breathing in an irritated way, and the two provoke each other, aggravate each other. So if you can consciously calm the breathing down, the mind begins to calm down as well. At the very least, it doesn't have that sense that there's something in its system it has got to get out of its system. This especially happens with anger. There's a catch in your breath, there's a tightness in the breath, and it feels oppressive, and you feel you've got to get it out of your system. And for most of us, getting it out of our system means we do or say something that we're later going to regret. But then we're afraid that if we bottle it up inside, then it's going to explode someday, or else cause health problems. So the Buddha is giving us another alternative. He says you can breathe through the tension, you can breathe through that tightness. And then as the body calms down, then the mind has a, is in a better position to see what should be said or should be done. Because what happens with anger and the, the sense you've got to get it out of your system is your sense of shame and compunction just get thrown out the window. Part of the mind says, I don't care, I'm going to do what I think I want to do right now or I think should be done right now, when things are not all that clear. Then the regret comes in later. Shame and compunction are your friends. Shame in the sense of you'd be ashamed to do something unskillful, something that the people you respect would not approve of. Compunction is when you realize there are going to be consequences. I don't want to make sure I don't do anything unskillful that leads to bad consequences. The opposite of compunction is apathy. And the opposite of shame here is not pride, it's shamelessness, it's the I don't care attitude. But after all, these are your actions that you're doing, and your actions are shaping your life. And that's something which you want to care about. So show some care in staying with the breath. Show some care in dealing with the tensions that come up in the body and the issues that come up in the mind. There was a Peanuts cartoon one time where Lucy complains, if you go around saying, watching your words, you never got much said. Well, that's the whole point. You don't have to get much said. You don't have to get much done. You, what you want to do, though, is you want to make sure the things you do do are well done. They're harmless to you, harmless to others, actually beneficial to you, beneficial to others. And that requires care. So be careful of your words, be careful of your actions, be careful of your breath right here. Because it's through the breath that you, you do other things. So here you've got a guardhouse right at a good spot, right where the body and the mind meet at the breath. So any impulse that comes in the mind gets checked at the guardhouse. Anything coming in from outside gets checked at the guardhouse as well, so you make sure the guard is healthy, you're breathing well. And that provides you with a good foundation for doing the things that you really will be in your own self-interest. <laughs>